a new toy. And boy has this taken an age to set up. But we can make noises. This is touch sensitive, so the harder you bang the keys, the more noise you get. So you can press them gently, or you can whack them. And then you can play with instruments. play with stuff and you can select different interfaces to get different noises. Sort of piano-y thing. What else have we got in here? Sort of synth type thing I suppose. There's loads of these, it goes on forever. Peru, didn't it? What else we got? State. And you can adjust delays and reverbs and echoes within this. It just means that there's thousands of thousands of voices, basically. Anyway. I can play with this for hours. <laughs> I did say I can't play keyboards, but I can play chords. So, you know, I can just basically, from an accompaniment point of view. Let's get back to the, um, <laughs> the one that made a sensible noise. I've forgotten what it was called now. I think it was that one, wasn't it? But you've got different interfaces which give you, a diff give you a different basic sound and set of controls and then on the left hand side you've got a list of instruments. Um, those come out of a library. Um, and in theory um, in theory we should be able to record stuff. So it just gives me more fill-in noise, if you see what I mean. It's a, just what I call a fill-in noise. I won't be able to do anything flashy on the keyboards. But, um, you know, I mean, you know, you can always pick out a tune. So I can make noises. And... Um, that's taken me an absolute age and really it's a good job there weren't ladies present because the language has been absolutely foul. Press the keys, noise comes out the speakers. It sounds so easy, doesn't it? And this doesn't even use the um, audio interface. This is a straight USB connection. But the amount of software that I had to fiddle around with um, first of all, the software that goes with this particular keyboard had to be set up as drivers and things like that. And um, I signed on to a couple of um, freebie plugins sites, which effectively gives you thousands of um, <laughs> ways of making noises by pressing a key. Um, I mean, literally, I can set this up as a bass guitar and use it as a bass guitar but I would feel uncomfortable doing that when I've actually got a bass guitar sitting there that I can play. Um, so, uh, yeah, a bit of a faff to say the least. But this uses up the USB slot. The audio interface for guitars and things like that also uses a USB slot. I do have two spare slots on there when my camera's not plugged in there. Um, but effectively they wouldn't both be in use at the same time, probably. 
but it would be handy to sort of be able to put record a guitar track and then without mucking about with wires and things just literally sit down and put some chords down or the other way around I mean most people um, the good thing with this is you've got a clicker track so you can actually set a clicker and record it while you're playing so it gives you a steady beat to stick to now that will come in handy with the drums which at the moment are all over the place but that's it I mean I can now record everything I've got a working microphone acoustic guitar vocals if I need them um, keyboards for some backing fill-in sounds um, electric guitar for some lead stuff and a drum kit to put down some drum cat uh, I mean basically I can program the keys on here to be drums you know I can turn that into a bass drum and that into a snare drum yeah it, it, it's just infinitely programmable and it's so infinitely programmable my infinitely tiny mind has just gone overload and all the stuff had to go off for the virtual table display competition today and I've mucked up several things that uh, the guy who puts it all together into the newsletter had to come back on me and say you've done that wrong, you've done that wrong. So overload I'm afraid. So uh, yeah, good stuff. And um, I'm going to take the camera off and just go out to the um, grow room for a minute. It's going to wobble while I disconnect it and everything. Actually I'll turn it off and turn it back on. And why I wanted to bring you out here, that says 28 degrees on there. This might be reading a bit high. No, it's not. It's somewhere between 28 and 30 odd degrees. I could do with getting the extractor fan on, but I can get away with it by leaving this door open for a bit. Um, but what's actually happened is we've got our first clear day today for a period of time. The sun's been out literally all morning. And look where it is. It's up there. It's not there anymore, it's up there. This is what I said happens when you're not watching because it's behind clouds. So it's higher in the sky. I've now got quite a bit of light coming in the roof. Got no shade netting on up there yet. But what I had this morning was no shade netting on there. And that's how all the heat's got in here. Straight in through that glass. So I've had to run out and that shade netting there, all that was was rolled up and attached to that pillar on the outside obviously so all I had to do was take a few screws out unroll it and put a few screws in so you know it took me 10 minutes to put that up because it was basically already there it just needed unrolling um, now by rights I should have left that rolled up and actually put the green stuff on because that goes underneath so now when I want to put the next layer on in a month's time or something like that. I'm going to have to take that off to put the green stuff on and then put that back on over the top. But yeah, we've suddenly got temperature in here. And um, humidity's hanging up there at the moment, but I'm going to leave this door open. What I'm going to do, I'll show you what I do when I need extra circulation. This is set to um, 16 at the moment. Well, obviously that was the night, the night time setting. So I'm talking right to the microphones. So what I do with this is take this up to higher than what the current temperature is, like that. And what that will do is switch that on and the heater. And all we do is turn the heater to fan only. So I've now got three fans running. Yeah? And the bottom one is on full. And so is the top one. So we've now got, that's the maximum circulation I can get with the fans I've got. So everything is just holding its wig on and hopefully not <laughs> lose, losing their wigs. But yeah, we've got heat, first time. And that heat would have been coming in through, that sun would have been coming in through those, the glass with nothing to stop it, heating the leaves up to the point where they, you know, the, the, some of the plants would shut down and some of them could almost be on the verge of burning. So, uh, yeah, that's the first day this has happened now. And as I said, the house, the temperature in the house isn't that warm. It's probably only about 23, 24. Now, these fans will draw in some of that air. That's going to knock my humidity. Look, the humidity's gone down from 76 to 65 while I've been talking. That's, that's with this door open because I'm sucking in drier, drier, but hopefully cooler air. So there we go. All the little warning shots I've said about 
<laughs> watch your shading, watch that sun, and I nearly got caught out myself yet again. I don't think it was last year, it was probably the year before, but I actually burnt quite a few plants by just that, by having the sun going missing for quite a long time while it was getting stronger, tucked in behind the clouds, and then it popped out from behind the clouds and frazzled some plants. So uh, go steady, and uh, right, I'm going to go and play with my toy and um, just I'm going to what I'm going to have to do is some write down some settings from some when I get some sounds that I like the sound of I've got you're going to love this I've got some soft well some plug-in uh, coming but I have to wait for it um, I've had to register an account and then after a while they send it to you but it is free and it's a full orchestral suite and it works by moving your cursor you've got like a like a shape like that which is the orchestra you know so you've got all the strings here um, you know the sort of um, timpani at the back the violins at the front um, brass up here woodwind and it's all done by colored sections labeled sections and you can just move your cursor and the sound will change to that section of the orchestra or you can pull your cursor down and get the whole section so you could just have the trumpets or just have the, all the brass or just have all the strings or just the violins so you can select sounds from the full orchestra including the sound of a full orchestra now I don't know how good that's going to be <laughs> because there's no substitute for real instruments at the end of the day but that will be fun to play with that could produce some very nice sort of string backgrounds you know sort of um, string backgrounds for, for songs Anyway, something to play with. I suspect those fans are really loud in the camera at the moment. So, um, I've just realised just realize what the time is. I have not had any dinner yet. Lunch, sorry. Well, depending on what part of the world you're from. I'm going to have lunch. What you're going to have is up to you. But I'm late having me lunch. See you next time. Bye for now.